Well, welcome. Once again, we're excited to gather today to acknowledge another great class of athletes and coaches to our Homer Ring Athletic Hall of Fame. It's hard to believe uh, we had a vision and communication, and it's been this is the 12th year now um, of the Athletic Hall of Fame, and long overdue, but uh, it's amazing how time flies. It's 12 years of the uh, class. And by the way, on a side note before we get started, besides the individual plaques that these uh, gentlemen and ladies will be receiving, up by the field house and the, uh, up towards the stadium in the hallways of the athletics are the large plaques that you will be there forever um, and maybe the 12th large plaque going up uh, probably next week. Uh, for those of you that do not, I have not met, uh, I am Bill Lechner. I'm a retired athletic director a few years ago um, and just coaching boys hockey at this time. Uh, with that said, it's an honor and a pleasure to be able to stand before you to such a distinguished group, uh, so responsible for the rich traditions of Bill Murray, Archbishop Murray, and uh, Bill High School. Uh, it's pretty neat uh, for the culmination of all the group. Uh, before we begin our presentation uh, to induct our 2023 class, I'd like to give the floor to our Bill Murray president, uh, Ms. Melissa Dan. Good morning. Um, I just want to take a few moments to welcome all of the family members and friends uh, to our chapel this morning, and especially our conductees of the 2023 that's crazy, um, Hill Murray Hall of Fame Awards. And I, I want to say a few things. One, um, it's such a privilege and an honor to serve as the president of Hill Murray. And as uh, I tell our kids often, um, it's always good to pause, right? There's there's a lot of things going on in our world right now and all the time. And so I just I'm just gonna ask you real quick to pause and just think about um, think about a moment in your high school experience. Um, whether it was a teacher who made a difference, a coach, um, someone who mentored or parented you and maybe you didn't always deserve it. And think about them. And that's really the work we still do here today. Right? No matter what, Hill Marie, it's 2023, we're guiding and mentoring teenagers and adolescents during those times that can be a bit interesting in middle school and high school. And it's now more important than ever before. And the pioneers that we're honoring today, and whether they excel in a whole variety of, of sports, they're also, they're true pioneers because when they left Hill Marie, they're leaders, each in their own way as they go out into the world. And really that's Hill Marie's uh, mission today is our graduates go into the world, hopefully um, make it a better place because of their time at Hill Murray and they, they, they understand their strengths, their God-given strengths, and they go into the world and make it a better place. Um, as Father said, we, we're, we're fortunate because we're grounded in faith, in our Catholic faith, and that really comes from the Christian brothers who started Hill, and also um, the Benedictine sisters who started at Archbishop Memorial High School. And, um, there was an important meeting with the sisters yesterday and um, more to come on this, but we're fortunate that we are looking at a, a, um, a long-term partnership with the sisters and they're really entrusting Phil Murray and the leadership of Phil Murray to, to carry their mission into the future um, in perpetuity. And so it's, it's a pretty exciting time for Phil Murray and, and there's more to come as we, we look at that future. So again, it's just want to thank you for being here today and thank you in a special way to um, all our inductees and to their family and friends. And I'm going to turn it back. No. Long ago, I started this with a lot of thick hair and not these. It's been 12 years. Uh, on behalf of Illinois School, I'd like to first welcome and acknowledge our past inductees who are who are honored to have with us today. Um, so if you wouldn't mind standing up and we'll give them an applause at the end and I'll start with the first class. Our first class was 2011 and representing from 2011 inductees, Brother Francis Carr. Bill Wolf. 2014, 
Jack, right? We have three, uh, Les Larson, and, or I'm sorry, and Jim, James Wolf, two of you have. From 2016, we have Tom Kinsella, John Heller, and Barry Kersby. <laughs> 2017, Steve Romanchuk. Vince Conley. Thanks for attending and uh, a great group of guys and adults as well as uh, good student athletes at home there. I would also like to rec recognize the Hall of Fame Selection Committee. Uh, most of them here are here today. Uh, the committee, and, and by the way, it's on the back of your program if you want to uh, submit some uh, induction possibilities. Uh, you, you can do that during the year. It says on the back of the program, the Judy Hilo Schwartz. But our selection committee has Aaron Herman, who is a retired principal in the current head of girls basketball here at Illinois Hill. Uh, Judy Hilo Schwartz in the back. She's our guru. She's our glue. Uh, does everything for Illinois and us. Class of 1979, an alumni relations director. John Heller, class of 1964. Uh, and the 2016 Athletic Hall of Fame inductee. Vince Conway, class of 1971. If you ever want to know anything about anything that went on around here, he has, uh, he has quite the brain for remembering everything. Uh, he can tell you how many strikes were on Mickey Mantle back in 1963 in the World Series and everything from Illinois beyond. Uh, and a retired teacher and coach here. And a 2021 Hall of Fame inductee. John Cole, our current Athletic Activities Director in the back. And then myself. And that's the committee. We'd also like to welcome our Hillary community of students, alumni, friends, and families who are in attendance today. Uh, there's quite a connection. Last but not least, welcome the teachers, administrators, coaches, both past and present, that were able to come today. Um, with that said, we are going to get to the reason we're here today. Our first candidate, 1969 graduate of Hill High School, three-year varsity letter winner in football, senior all-conference, runner-up athlete of the year, three years varsity letter winner in wrestling, 138-pound weight class, junior year, placed third in the state and senior year state champion. Junior and senior years, teams took second in the state tournament as a team. Senior varsity letter winner in baseball, National Honor Society member, junior and senior years, graduated fifth in his class. Uh, I welcome Joe Scheitlin. Uh, I'd love to do this public speaking. <laughs> Hall of Fame, who would have thought? I came to Hill as a sophomore from Southern Indiana. My dad had accepted a position with Whirlpool um, in St. Paul in the summer of 66. Prior to arriving, my parents asked me, where would you like to go to school? An all-boys school or an all-boys military school? <laughs> When I was uh, deciding on what sports to play, my mom suggested that, uh, why don't you play hockey? And I thought, yeah, right. These kids have been skating since they're two years old. <coughs> I couldn't turn to my left on my skates, let alone stick handle. Thank goodness there was wrestling. The, uh, I would like to thank all those involved in bestowing this Hall of Fame honor upon me, in particular, Dave Zerbinski, who uh, went through the effort to nominate me and to provide the details as to why I might deserve this honor. Thanks, Dave. And to both Bill Lechner and Judy Hollow Sports for all the administrative and coordination of this event. 
Thanks, Bill and Judy. And thanks to the many friends and family who are here today, or those elsewhere that were joining me in celebrating this reward award. In particular, Lori, my wife, Dave aforementioned, Ken Godgod and his wife Debbie, John Shields and his wife Linda, Mike Conway and his wife Rose. And to all the staff at Hill that provided me with such a quality education and an exemplary sporting experience. Coach Sullivan, Coach Strong, Coach Ludwig, and Coach Ackerman. I have a few, uh, maybe a story or two. While I was playing football for Coach Sullivan, I was a senior, and we're in film watching um, some of the games that we had played, or one of the games that we had played, and he had gotten frustrated with the defensive backs. I played D back, uh, and uh, he pointed out, he says, well, why can't you play more like Scheidman? And so the next play, they, he isolated me on the film. And sure enough, the, the wide end, wide out, went down, did an out and up, and I bit. Well, the safety that had to cover for me, and uh, Coach Sullivan was uh, beside himself, that he had picked me out. And uh, I was thinking later, thanks for pointing out that I screwed up too, right? <laughs> Um, I'll keep it short, and I'd like to thank everybody for showing and uh, indulging me in this uh, speech, if you will. Thank you. Super respectfully to my past, Joey, you got a choice of where you want to go to high school. I went to that military school creed. <laughs> um, my parents didn't give me a choice. They said, that's where you're going. I'm in St. Paul. However, I, the way I got out of it is the last 43 or 44 years, I came out. <laughs> we're good. We're good. Um, our next candidate, 1972 graduate of Hillary High School. Four years varsity letter winner in football. Senior year, all-conference and MVP, leading the pass receiver and punter. Senior year, leading pass receiver and punter. Junior year, a member of the 1971 Independence Day Championship team. Baseball senior year, uh, CC, the Catholic Conference it used to be. Honorable mention, state tournament participant. Four years varsity letter winner in baseball. Senior year, state tournament participant, CC all-conference. Letterman's Club, Athlete of the Year, and National Honor Society, Junior and Senior Year. Bob Cook. Wow. <laughs> thank you for the opportunity and the honor. I'd like to thank the Hall of Fame Selection Committee for their support. Speaking of support, I'd like to introduce my family that's here with me and friends uh, in keeping with a uh, high school theme. Uh, from Rice Lake, Wisconsin, the class of 1972, my wife Carol. <laughs> <laughs> the class of 2002, Woodbury Royals, my daughter Amanda and her husband Aaron Brady. From the class of, wow, she's really old. 1964, Archbishop Murray, my sister, Judy Johnson. From the class of 1969, Mechanic Arts trainer, my brother, Jim. And of course, from the little brother from the 1975, Bill Murray. 
Jericho. <laughs> also, my lifelong, my lifelong friends from 72, Mike Grabowski and Danny Polarski are here. We shared a lot of things, and I'm just glad they're here with me today. <laughs> just to be mentioned in the Hall of Fame, um, with my 72 class, the Dave Longevins, the uh, Jerry Hoffman, Paul Osbert, and Tim Whistler is fabulous. I would never thought. Also, with the class of 71, Barry Persby, uh, Les Larson, Bob Young, all those guys I played with as well. It's, it's an honor to be mentioned with them. My coaches and my teammates are the reason I'm here. Without them, I guess I would not be here. I would like to take, uh, uh, have a moment of silence for those who have passed, my coaches and teammates ahead of us. Uh, Coach John Maurer, Coach Steve Fricke, Jim Ballard, Tim Neely, Dick Fink, and from the class of 71, a very good friend of mine, Steve Bolt. Just a moment. I'd also like to take a little time to recognize the important people here in my life. Brother Francis Carr, what a wonderful man he is. He was the go-to guy. He did everything. He, from the schedule to the transportation to the washing of uniforms, he was there all the time. His open door policy to stop in and talk if he needed to, he was always there for us. Grateful for his mentorship and, and friendship. <coughs> Before I came to Hill, I played football, basketball, and baseball at Sacred Heart under the coaching and teaching of Stan Jeske. Uh, he was dedicated, like Brother Francis, he was always there. Coach Jeske was always at the gym. He was always with us. What a great guy. And by the time I reached senior year, he did follow through and come into Hill, and he was our basketball coach. Uh, he was one of the big reasons. When you think of the state tournament, you don't really think about basketball. You think hockey. They always had a great team. Well, in 72, we made it to the state uh, tournament in basketball. Because of Stan Jeske, and of course, we had players like Hoffman and Jeff Black, and these guys were just monsters. We had a great, great group, great group. From my freshman year to my senior year, I've only had one football coach. He was there all those years and followed us right along. Coach Jim Wall, uh, as, as freshman, I think we were unbeaten. And sophomore year, we, we had all these guys just stuck together. By, do, by the time we got to junior year, uh, he had taken over for Coach Sullivan and uh, we did take the conference championship that year. It was great. He, m many of my fondest memories of uh, camaraderie, hard work, teamwork, came from Jim Wall. And along, with, along with Steve Ricky, of course, uh, they were instrumental in teaching us how to be one. And that leads me into baseball. There is only one name associated with baseball when I was here. Was Coach John Maurer, the old master. What a guy. The knowledge of the game and his coaching style brought us to a state championship in 1972. Along with our fantastic pitching and hitting team, we were the best in, that, in the state that year. What a blast. In closing, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention my two biggest favorites. I wish they were here. My parents, Larry and Lorraine Cook, along with my son Jim, I'm sure are looking down with great big smiles on their face. Thank you very much.
Our next inductee, a 1976 graduate of Pomeroy High School, four-year varsity letter winner in basketball, two years all-conference and scoring leader. First play of Pomeroy to score 1,000 points, actually was 1,159. Three-year varsity letter winner in baseball, senior all-conference and all-state, winning pitcher in two games of the 1976 state championship team, attended St. Thomas College, four years where he played basketball and baseball. Joe Campbell. Thanks, Bill. And uh, Judy, I want to thank you also. The administration and the details to put all this together is uh, a lot. So I really appreciate it. Not only you two, but the rest of the uh, team involved with the Hall of Fame uh, committee. Also, uh, my family who's here today, my wife Leslie, my two daughters, Phoebe and Grace, uh, my sister Donna and Pat, uh, her uh, husband, brother Jack, who, as Bill mentioned, went to, uh, had some overlap at Creighton and St. Thomas. And Bill mentioned to me that when he was a young freshman, really not knowing a lot, Jack mentored him. So he, he really appreciates that. That's cool. My brother Jim, uh, also. So thank, uh, thank you for uh, all uh, showing up. Also, friends that are here, uh, quite a few of them. Let's see if I can remember all of them. Pat, uh, of course. Uh, I saw him at the uh, football game on Friday with his better half, Mary. <laughs> Hangy, by the way, uh, and uh, Matt Flugie, nice to see you again. Mike Rydell, uh, Mike Jablonski, Tony Lontry, Steve Senek. Dino's back there somewhere, I think. Yes, there he is. And I don't know if I'm missing anyone, but uh, it might be. But thank you for all of that, for showing up. I really appreciate it. And all the support and encouragement uh, through the high school years and also beyond. Really appreciate that. Um, uh, on the coaches, uh, Bob, you mentioned Stan Chesky. I also uh, learned from Stan a lot. Uh, he was always there. I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, giving us uh, direction, giving us uh, a way to play the game the right way. We play hard. So he, uh, I agree with your comments. Um, Moving on to Hill, uh, Steve Fricke was the basketball coach for many years, um, so I appreciated all his efforts. And then on to my favorite coach of all, and I think the father mentioned that. When this guy was, his name was mentioned, people bow, and again, it's, it's, it might be true, you know, he said that. Uh, and maybe that's a little overstatement, but uh, Terry Scribeck was very instrumental, very, very instrumental in our teams all the way through uh, all four years, and especially the senior year. Um, he was the type of guy that pushed all of us, not just in games, but in practice. And one of the things I remember about him is he expected a effort. In other words, sometimes guys just kind of call it in sometime C effort and B effort, or I'll be in the outfield and I'll loaf a little bit. If he saw that, he didn't like that. He was pushing us, pushing us very hard. And uh, uh, we all, at the time, kind of grumbled about that a little bit, right? But he was doing it for a reason, so I appreciate that. Uh, there was a guy that uh, made a quote a while ago. I'm going to read it. It says, it's not the will to win that. Everyone has the will to win. It's the will to prepare to win. Okay? Maybe that's a corny quote. That was by Bear, uh, Paul Bear Bryant, coach down out of Alabama. So when I saw that quote, I thought of oh, Terry. So thank you for giving us the opportunity to work hard and practice, not loaf. Full A effort. I really appreciate that. So, made a big difference on not only myself, but the rest of the team members. So, again, thank you, Terry. He's probably used to all this stuff. He gets it all the time, right? But uh, it's very true, and I mean that honestly. So, thank you. Uh, to the uh, senior year state championship team, um, 
I'm going to read these names. Some, some of them are here. Okay. Uh, Dean Milo, who's here today. Mike Rydell. Bruce Oheisel. Ed Reck. John Worm. Mike Hurt. Dan Rogers. Joe Stadler. Mario Cucciarello, our captain of the team. Jeff Whistler. Jeff Langevin. Eddie Strobel. Gary Jost. Mark Smith and Jay Sockness. We also had two, what we called back then, equipment managers. That's what just we call them, which was Bill Schmidt and John Yeruso, uh, led by Terry Sprague. Uh, one more quote, last one, by the way. Uh, this guy that went to uh, North Carolina, played basketball, and then he went on to play at uh, Chicago. He said, talent wins games. But teamwork and intelligence wins championships. Okay? Talent wins games. Teamwork and intelligence wins championships. That was Michael Jordan. And again, we got that vibe, we got that energy from Terry. Terry's very good. So thank you again. Second time! You know, I can't help it because uh, maybe the priest was right. You know, he really was. So, uh, again, he made a big impact on the team and myself. So, I really appreciate all your efforts and your uh, ability to look and push all of us for that A effort. So, again, thank you. Um, one other person I want to say thank you to, and again, Bob talked about this, is Brother Francis. My goodness. He was Mr. Everything. Uh, from washing uniforms to scheduling to the disciplinarian, okay? This young freshman needed a little talking to from time to time. As a 14 to 15 year old, I was like a little monkey. Uh, okay, guilty. But, uh, but brother knew how to deal with little guys like me who thought, you know, maybe they were better than they were, and I wasn't, okay? Kind of just shoo. And, but he was always very professional, if that's the word. He knew how to handle little guys like me that I thought, you know, he was, he was very kind. And, you know, the finger wagged a little bit, you know. I expected more from you, that kind of stuff. But I needed that, so thank you, brother. I really, really appreciated that. Uh, and uh, your kindness and your guidance really helped a young guy like me. So thank you again. Um, made a big impact. Big impact. So uh, I'm truly, truly honored and humbled to receive this recognition and to be elected into the Hillary Hall of Fame. Thank you. Okay, uh, 
thank you everyone. Um, I'm first going to start out by saying uh, I heard uh, Father Longwell today, and I am half Irish, but I promise to hold the grudges, no grudges. And uh, Bill has told me to uh, behave, so I'm not going to throw this away. Here. <laughs> um, thank you all. I want to, um, I am humbly honored uh, to be standing before you. Um, I am also honored and proud to be in the company of the great athletes uh, before me and those coming more after myself as well. Uh, first and foremost, I want to acknowledge my family who are here today with me. Um, my brother Mike from 79, graduate of Hill Marie. My sister Sandy, uh, graduate of Hill Marie in 83. Um, my daughter Alicia. My son Dominic, uh, my mom who's in Florida right now and couldn't make it, um, Dominic's fiance Amanda, my nephew Jeremy, his kids, my grandnephew and niece, um, so Mia who's a year, almost a year, um, Oliver who's six, who I suspect one day I will be um, sitting in the stands watching him. Uh, received an inductee into a Hall of Fame for Athletics. Uh, my niece, Katie, her <coughs> child, Leo, and Aaron, her partner. Um, and of course, my brother-in-law, David, who did some coaching with me in our younger years with the kids. So um, thank you for coming today. Um, I really appreciate that. We've, uh, my sister and brother and I have survived uh, our, our years growing up and um, a, I should say a, a, a safe haven here at Emory for us. Um, so most of all, the one person that I want to acknowledge and I actually um, share this honor with is my dad. Um, unfortunately, he's no longer with us and he's missed, especially on this day. Um, I truly believe I would not be standing here today without his encourage, his encouragement, wisdom, and years of working with me on the ball field. Um, my dad was also a pro baseball player um, for, I believe it's the Chicago White Sox, for a short period of time in the, um, for a few years. And so he had a great, uh, great knowledge of that. He's also from Creighton. Um, just to share a little bit about that. Coming to Hill Murray, I was in, we went into, the, we were in the public school system until my ninth grade year, and uh, I did not want to come here. I wanted to stay with my friends, everybody I knew. I didn't know anybody when I came here in ninth grade. Um, my dad told us that uh, you are not going to get the choice to go into a public high school and choose to take basket reading as a class. You were going to Hill Murray, and you were going to learn math, reading, writing, and be ready for college. So um, I did come to Hillary with not knowing anybody. Um, came here my freshman year, went in to, to trial for volleyball, and the first person I met at the door was Mary Ashley Brother. And uh, what a welcome I received from her. I felt I felt uh, at home and um, just like it was the place for me. So that was my first introduction to, to coming to Hill Murray. And I think, Bill, for whatever reason, you might have me confused with my sister about behaving because I, <laughs> I really thought I was a quiet one and uh, worked real hard um, in, uh, in school here. But somehow I might have, might have lost a little bit of ruckus here and there. Um, I will say that the, the discipline that was provided here at Hillary for my athletics um, served me well in life. Yeah, it served me at home during Hillary, during basketball. It kept me on the straight and narrow. And I don't know if anybody else had to have, did everybody here, every coach have curfew? We had curfew, Mr. Wold, Mr. Vogel. We had curfew. <laughs> And uh, we had curfew and we had grade checks. And um, 
I just knew, you know, you got to study, you got to be at home, and um, I got in trouble one time for breaking curfew. But I, I think, I think the wrong name got to Mrs. Wolf. I think it was my sister. Because I had to be old. So I just want to clear that up there. Um, anyhow, yeah, then um, just the hard work, the uh, being quick uh, in practice, being on time, being functional. I mean, it served me well in every aspect of my um, life moving forward in my career. Um, in raising children, just staying focused, uh, being determined, um, leaning on teammates. I think that was, uh, uh, my teammates were a big part of my life as well. Lost touch with many of them over the years, but there's so many, many memories of just the team gatherings and just playing cards and drinking, you know, uh, some soda and uh, <laughs> Teammates, um, I wouldn't be here. It was volleyball, basketball, softball. There's no, there's no I and team. It was, it, it took all of us. Those that were on the bench, those that weren't on the bench. Uh, it made me uh, actually. I, we all should be up here. Everybody on my team over the years, until I graduated in '81. Um, and I think, um, yeah, I mean. Okay, so my one grudge, I'm going to tell you, I do have one grudge. And that was the one grudge was when we played um, New York Mills, and I wanted to guard Janet Carvin, and I didn't get to guard Janet Carvin. So, uh, yeah, that was, that's my biggest grudge, Janet Carvin didn't get to guard uh, That's that Irish in me. So, anyhow, um, in ending my speech today, I want to... Um, Thank you, everybody here, my coaches, my teachers, for providing me the structure that I so badly needed. I needed that structure coming into school um, and to stay on course. Or else I'd be like my sister or brother. <laughs> incredible guy, most wonderful person I, I've ever known. I don't think anybody will ever surpass um, who my, my father is. And all the life lessons he taught me, um, my brother and I on the ball field, just across the street practicing, practicing uh, baseball, um, you know, just don't, don't stand back on your heels, get on the balls of your feet, charge the ball, stay behind the ball, you know, uh, Swing through on the bat, use your wrists. And then just the life lessons that he gave us um, was, you know, give it your all, be proud of your accomplishments, work hard, show, show them who you are on and off the field, be good to others, be ethical, be moral. Um, just all those things that happen, even as, as even coaches too. Those are all the things you learn as you're in your practice, as you're practicing. And, uh, and uh, yeah, it's, just, it's a wonderful feeling, and I really want to thank him. And he really is deserving of my dad of this honor with me. I wish he was standing right next to me. So um, thank you all, and uh, I appreciate every every one of you. teaching of special education, so now I'm an administrator, a special ed director, um, a data person in my in my school, principal, do all that, yeah, working in the in inner city school with that rest of students. Thank you.
candidate, a 1997 graduate of Bloomer High School, two-year varsity letter winner in volleyball, junior and senior all-conference, four-year letter winner in basketball, four years all-conference in basketball. Team records including over 1,100 career points and 1,000 rebounds. Uh, coached for Hill Marine in 2002 and 2004 in the state tournament. 2008 Section 3A uh, 3 Assistant Coach of the Year. Uh, currently employed at Hill Marine. She found the place okay today. And we'll be back tomorrow as a person. <laughs> Good job. Uh, Denise Shin gets eight. together so it's an honor um, to stand here. Um, when I was in high school one of the ninth graders uh, showed up to practice wearing a North St. Paul basketball t-shirt and I promptly sat her down and uh, duct taped her to a chair and told her she uh, is at home right now no more North St. Paul basketball uh, stuff so two things I'd like to say about that one I'm glad I did that in 1997 and not 2023 <laughs> And we laugh about it to this day, but um, like I said, I'm glad I, maybe I shouldn't have said that one, Bill. <laughs> too late, right? Too late. The committee is too late. Um, in all seriousness, I've been really fortunate in my life. Um, I've been surrounded by really uh, incredible teachers and leaders. I walked into Hill Murray when I was 14 years old, and 30 years later, I'm still here. Um, that's either really sad or really awesome. Um, <laughs> I can't decide, just kidding. Um, it's pretty awesome, this place is really incredible. What makes it so incredible is the people who are here. Um, and the people change, but we just keep bringing in just the most incredible teachers and, and mentors. So um, I loved playing sports at Hill Murray. I loved my teammates and my coaches. I loved competing. Um, I loved helping other people find success on the court, which is why, why I loved coaching. Um, I never cared about being recognized for individual efforts even though I'm incredibly honored um, to be standing here. I'd like to thank my family first uh, for supporting me in my love of athletics. Uh, my dad was my first coach and actually coached me all the way uh, up until I started to play for Coach Herman. And if I'm being honest, he uh, coached me a bit when I was playing for Coach Herman as well. <laughs> with compliments <clears throat> but he's and he's quick to push for more effort so I learned a lot about basketball from my dad but um, what I most took away is uh, my dad's work ethic there isn't a hardy harder working um, person than my dad um, I learned early on that if I wanted my dad's respect I needed to, to work um, and I did that I was not the best athlete on the court or the best student um, in the classroom, but I'd like to think that I was uh, the hardest working and that work ethic comes from my dad. Um, my mom is the heart of our family. She's the engine that makes us all go. She sat on hundreds of bleachers and listened to hundreds of post-game debriefs. Um, she wiped away tears after losses and washed a million uh, sweaty uniforms and sweaty socks. She drove me to practices and games and cooked my meals and taught me about selflessness. My parents were the first leaders that I followed. Um, they gave up things they needed and wanted for me to have the opportunity to play at Homery. At some level as a teenager, um, I probably understood their sacrifice. And now that I'm a parent, I can confidently say I get it. All I ever wanted to do was make my parents proud, and I hope that I did that. I also want to thank my high school coaches, um, my volleyball coach, Julie Jorson. Ms. J um, was positive and supportive and enthusiastic. She was fun. I loved playing volleyball um, for her, and that was because um, she was such a fun coach. I also want to thank Erin Herman. Herms, um, if you'd gotten paid in eye rolls, you would have been retired <laughs> a long time before. <laughs> So I'm getting some of those back. <laughs> um, but seriously, um, you've been a massive part of my life and my family's life um, since I was 13. You believed in me when I walked in the door as a freshman, and you still believe in me. 
to this day, um, you're one of a handful of people who I go to um, when I need advice or need someone to talk to. I wanted to become a teacher and coach because of you. I love playing for you, I love coaching with you, and I love learning how to be a professional with you. We fought some pretty epic battles together um, through my playing days, through uh, coaching together, and there's no one I'd rather have on my team than you. I admire you and I'm lucky to call you my friend. And to my daughter, Kate. Um, Kate, we've heard stories about your old mom in her playing days. I was tough, but you are tougher. You are pioneering your own path at Hill Murray. Um, watching you grow up is so much fun. Um, I'm in awe of your poise and confidence. Nothing gives me greater joy than watching you. Um, you and your classmates are the next generation of pioneers, and I can't wait to see um, where you guys go. And to close, I'd like to thank Hill Murray. Um, I walked through these doors in 1994, knowing uh, less than a handful of people. Teachers, coaches, and staff believed in and supported me. I was a public school kid um, from a working class family. Sweet Mrs. Souter in the athletic office um, gave me a job to earn um, some money to help pay off my tuition. So I filled pot machines and delivered blue slips. Um, I'd like to say that I was never felt a little embarrassed by doing that when my classmates um, didn't. It's just part of being a kid, I think. Um, but reflecting on those times, I think about how they shaped me into the person I am today. Uh, for the last 22 years, I've been lucky enough to work um, at Hill Murray School, first in enrollment um, and now in development. I'm able to help students um, attend the school, afford to come to the school, um, and develop their leadership skills. Um, more importantly than that, I hope um, that I'm a person like Ms. Suter was for me, like Ms. Jorison was for me, like Parents was for me, um, somebody that kids can count on. Um, most of my teachers, coaches, and mentors have retired, uh, but I hope I'm making them proud by carrying on their example of ensuring Hill Marie is a place student athletes like me can learn, grow, lead, and be accepted for who they are, no matter where they come from. I'd like to thank the committee for including me in this group of unbelievable people. I've been lucky enough to play with and coach uh, many of the female athletes in the Hall of Fame, so to be included in their company is an honor. Congratulations to all the honorees. Inductee, 2005 graduate of Hill Murray School, four-year varsity letter winner in soccer, captain senior year, six-year varsity letter winner in hockey, four-time all-conference, all-time career points as of 2005, four-year varsity letter winner in softball, senior year captain, all-metro, all-section, two times all-conference and all-state, 2005 Athena Award winner and female athlete of the year, University of Minnesota, four-year starter in softball. It's all Colleen. <laughs> Colleen Conway Sickalova. Good morning. Thank you for the warm introduction. Um, as mentioned, my name is Colleen Sickalolo. I'm thrilled and honored to be standing here accepting this induction with you today. I'm sorry, there's a glare. I loved my time at Hill Murray. I started here in seventh grade. I was involved in three sports, as mentioned, soccer, hockey, and softball. I was in peer ministry in NHS. These connections to the school helped turn me into a loyal and lifelong pioneer fan. I am grateful for this Hall of Fame honor and would like to thank my fellow teammates that got me here. I played three team sports, so I have everything to share and to thank with them. After being an athlete on 18 different sports teams at Hill Murray and coaching eight seasons of softball at Hill Murray, it's hard to only pick a few people and a few memories to highlight. I want to highlight some of my amazing role models and lifelong friends that I made here at Hill Murray. April, Patty, Katie, Carrie, Courtney, Kelsey, Jamie, Sam, Buss, Frank, Jesse, the list goes on and on. 
These women created an atmosphere of inclusion, confidence, strength, competitiveness, and fun. As a young seventh grader playing on a team of girls that were almost six years older than me, I learned a lot, not only from the crazy locker room conversations, <laughs> but more importantly, how they carried themselves. How they bounced back from a loss, a missed shot, or a strikeout. How they carried their successes with humility and grace. How they accepted and included all ages in the locker room. How they were committed to a sense of team, sisterhood, and fun. They modeled for me how important it was to take schoolwork seriously, to respect authority, to appreciate your teammates, and most importantly, how to love the sport you played. I will forever cherish these women and the memories of playing soccer, hockey, and softball for Hill Murray. Thank you, teammates, for making my memories of being a pioneer so amazing and for pushing me to become the best version of myself. After playing college softball and playing overseas, I had the wonderful opportunity to coach softball here at Hill Murray and give back to the school that gave so much to me. My goal as a coach was to always keep the girls moving, having fun, and of course, coming up with fun team building activities. As a player, one of my favorite memories was when my soccer coach, Tony England, told our soccer team he had a special surprise for us. He brought us into the varsity gym completely pitch black dark. And truthfully, I don't have a clue what he said to us. But what I do remember is when he flipped on the lights. In a perfect circle, numerical order, were brand new, awesome looking soccer jerseys. I literally felt like I was on Team USA and it created so much energy and excitement for us as we headed into playoffs. Like all of my coaches, they went the extra mile for us and made our teams always feel special, appreciated, and ensured that we had fun things like this off the field to look forward to. This is exactly how I wanted my softball players to be me during my coaching tenure at Hill Marine. And yes, I totally copied this idea when I revealed our all-black softball jerseys the year we went to the state tournament. I will always be grateful for my high school coaches, Lance, Mark, Shane, Gary, Snaz, Tommy, Guy, Kip, Sarah, Mike, and Tony, thank you for an amazing experience. And most deservingly, a special shout out to my assistant coach, Lisa, who's with me today. You were a blast to coach with. Truthfully, I wouldn't be standing here today if it weren't for the unconditional love, support, and countless sacrifices made by my family. My mom, Joan, my dad, Steve, and my older brother, Patrick. First, thank you to my brother, Patrick. Being the younger sibling, I always looked up to you. For most of my younger years, I was your shadow, asking to play knee hockey with your friends or playing horse in the driveway. I always wanted to do exactly what you did. When Patrick was five, he played baseball, so I wanted to play. When I was seven, Patrick played hockey, so I wanted to play. Later on, Patrick played soccer, so when I got to Hill Murray, I wanted to play soccer. For as long as I can remember, you've been my idol, my protector, and you've always found a way to keep me included, even though I was the annoying little sister. You have always supported me in my life and have always been there for me. You are one of the hardest working people I know and you continue to amaze me with your success and your community. And someday, hey, maybe I'll pick up golf like you too. <laughs> Mom, Dad, thank you for the sacrifices you have made to allow me the opportunity to play sports and using sports as the vehicle to help grow and develop and turn me into the athlete and woman I have now become. As I sit here today with two young kids of my own, I realize now more than ever the sacrifices and unwavering energy you put into me. I promise I never took it for granted, but I truly appreciate those experiences now more than ever. Many of you know, and many of you may not, my family owns Dorothy and Bakery in Woodbury. A little side note there. <laughs> Owning and operating any business is hard, but I've worked full time at the bakery now for 14 years and see firsthand how hard it is. To that point, I still cannot understand how you made it to all of both mine and my brother's sporting events over the years, and even how you continued to travel across the country with me while I played in college and across the world even after college. But please know that seeing you in the stands always comforted me. It made me feel like I could do anything, I could be anything, and I would be accepted in love no matter if it went 0 for 4 or 4 for 4. Hearing them cheer in the stands, let's go three, or sometimes even unhook the plow three, <laughs> always made me feel confident that you would always be on my side and work for me no matter what while keeping a smile on my face. 
Thank you for always being there at games, practices, banquets, tournaments, you name it. My parents were there. Coaching youth sports, staying late at the batting cages, flooding an ice rink in our backyard, my crazy pre-hockey game dinner routine, running cookie dough fundraisers, leading the cheers in the stands, washing jerseys at 11 p.m., and so much more. My parents supported me through it all, and I could not be what I am without you. I hope someday I can be the parents to my kids, as you are to me. Last, last but certainly not least, I want to thank Coach Lechner for being an incredible role model, mentor, and for giving me the opportunity to continue my passion for softball. And also, another special thank you for hiring the baseball coach. <laughs> There are many joys that Hill Murray has brought me in my life, but I never in my wildest dreams thought that I would meet the love of my life, Charlie, here at Hill Murray. Yes, the softball coach married the baseball coach. <laughs> Charlie, you are my everything, my biggest supporter, fan, and best friend. Thank you for being here with me today while I relive my glory days. This honor really means the world to me, and it's even more special that my kids, Chloe and Casey, will get to see Mommy's name up on the wall for years and years to come. Thank you. gym and softball was in the field house and I went to Quinny one day and I go hey where's Colleen or where's Charlie going all the time to? and he's getting a drink I think or something he was sneaking up the hallway to, to meet somebody on the softball team and, and the rest is history they're married <laughs> it worked out well thank you okay. in closing uh, thank you to Judy Schwartz Elise Langefeld and Katie McNulty uh, they're in the back of the room put all this together. Very much appreciated. Great job. <laughs> it was Father Jack Long for being our uh, presider today. And it was fun to see him selfishly because uh, when he started, I started in 1979. From Lisa Dan, thank you for uh, support and being present and being here today. To Chef Paul, who you're going to meet in a few seconds or sample his food. Uh, to Chef Paul and the staff from uh, Flick Catering and they're preparing our brunch and they'll be ready in two, two seconds. And most importantly, a heartfelt congratulations to our new uh, class of 2023, the six new inductees and their families. Congratulations. Well deserved, well honored. Good job. <laughs> to the group here, it's amazing. It's like, you know, um, I've been gone three years and obviously I'm still coaching, but it's like you just never post right back said it when we met today. You know, we're like best friends when we get together a couple times a year. And it was like, isn't this fun? It's like, there's such a good group here at Hillary. It's amazing. It's like, it's that, it's that toy you never want to give up. It's that friend you never want to say goodbye to. Um, it's a special place. So for all of you guys, thank you for caring so much about Hillary School throughout the past, present, and hopefully uh, well into the future. And uh, uh, a note from, um, from uh, John Paul, our current athletic director, if you want to put it on your calendar, uh, homecoming is set for next year. So this event, if you would uh, love, we'd love to have you attend. This next year is October 6th. Okay, put it up here, put it in your phone, and see what happens. October 6th will be the homecoming weekend, or actually the fourth will be the football and the ceremony. Um, with that said, uh, on the other side of the wall here, you know where the bathrooms are.